When your father opens his head with a shotgun, you're 17. You work as a janitor at a gas station. Your family is really poor. Death leaves behind terrible work. You stand outside the door to a disaster you've inherited. Paint-stained rag, bucket at your feet. Your life before violence suddenly belongs to someone else, someone you despise. You lock your bedroom door at night. You're seen downtown at odd hours, cruising in the back of a rust-stained pickup truck, throwing up liquor behind them all. You repeat the 11th grade twice until you're finally old enough to drop out. Nobody expects you to be normal now. They'll never understand. The double barrel crawling from the closet. The gray pig in his head squealing for the axe. These things are incidental. The sadness that kills can live inside a man for years, hollowing him out, stiffening the color in his eyes, a butterfly snuffed in ether, then a sudden cyclone that sweeps away a house, the bullet left a last kiss, lipstick smeared across the wall, a thin red kudzu crawling towards your shoes, strange weather will follow you no matter where you go, an angry sky above your head that no one else can see, a flock of cardinals that break their necks against your windshield on the way to work each morning. It will be years after the funeral when you finally allow yourself to start kissing boys. Your father's hands once rested on your hips like a pair of greasy doves that only mate for life, but now they're safely rotting underneath the ground. You tear the sleeves off your shirts. You paint your fingernails a shiny black. You dye your hair this muddy shade of auburn brown. On the day that we first meet, it halos your face in a wreath the color of blood. <laughs>